up you guys so many of you have asked about my consulting sessions they are going to be back starting this Friday right now as you can see I am studying for my finals um, this is finals week so I will be studying and in blackout mode all week but on Friday I'll be finished and I'll be starting my consulting sessions again they'll go for a week there will be live consulting sessions with me so you can just go ahead and head on to the description box below for more details or go to my website at adonathepa.com all right can't wait to talk to you Hi. What's up you guys, this is Donna. I am back with another PA Q&A video for you guys. I have a couple questions that I'm gonna be answering for you all today. Um, if you have any questions that you would like answered on a future video, please go ahead right now and leave those in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. Can PACs work in dentistry? So no, PAs cannot work in dentistry. The dentist field doesn't really have a mid-level, oh, how I hate that word, you guys, but whatever, um, a mid-level practitioner like a PA or an NP. It's really like the dentist and then the dental hygienist and then the techs. Therefore, um, there's not really like a, a bridge or anything like that. You don't really see PAs in dentistry. I don't know if that's something that will happen in the future because we don't really get that much training with that, maybe there might be something in the future, kind of like how we're going into ophthalmology, but we're usually like doing fundoscopic exams here and there in our HENT. So I'm not really sure if that's even a possibility in the future, but maybe the organization of dentists, I don't even know what it's called, but whoever the dentists are under, maybe that might be something that they might be looking into in the future if that is the route that you would like to go. Can PAs deliver babies? No, so PAs cannot necessarily deliver babies yet. However, that's like a yes and no question, because, well, answer, because um, it's kind of specific to the practice. Um, I know that there are some practices where PAs do deliver, um, and there are some places where they don't. Like, uh, of course, like, emergency delivery so in the er and things of that there are pas that do that but there was this new thing that came out in our um journal the japa which is our journal for pas and it was talking about the pa laborist um so that is essentially like you know kind of like what midwives do in a sense and it's something that is new and up and coming so maybe in the future that may be a route or a specialty that PAs can go into where they are laborious and they're allowed um, to actually deliver babies but generally speaking no PAs don't usually deliver babies can PAs specialize in integrative slash alternative medicine so I know this is something that I kind of was looking into um, I originally wanted to be an OBG but I kind of wanted to do the DO route because I just thought that they were more holistic in their teaching and it was more um, less of the medical or medicine model where you know we're learning the types of meds and pushing that as opposed to kind of treating the person and um, not necessarily the disease so um, I really like that model but I didn't want to be a doctor anymore so that kind of went out the window but for a PA, um, you know, we are under the medical model. There are schools that have a more integrative slash um, alternative way of teaching. I think they're usually like in California. <laughs> They're a little bit more advanced, I guess you could say, a little, a little bit more forward thinking. Um, you would just have to kind of call around and look and see and go on different forums and ask these questions. But specifically, like where you're, you know, actually in that type of mode, like a DO, no. I think how you would get that experience is by actually like shadowing a DO or doing your rotations with a DO and then working with a DO, um, you know, collaboratively. Then you will actually learn how they do things their craft, what they've um, learned prior in DO school, and then you can apply that to your practice and how you move as a PA moving forward. What are some entry level jobs to gain healthcare experience for the program? So I did a video about this. Um, I may leave that in the link or leave a link for it here somewhere, but I did do a video about that. But to me, like your fastest, kind of quickest entry level jobs um, for healthcare experience. Now you're saying healthcare experience, but I'm not sure if you mean healthcare experience or 
patient care experience because they're two different things when you're dealing with CASPA and applying to schools. So for healthcare experience, that is anything that you possibly could ever do in the healthcare field. So you can be um, an MA, a CNA, uh, an EMT, of course, all of those things. But then you can also be, you know, back office doing like uh, credentialing. You can do, I was a clinical scheduler for a point in time that gave me healthcare experience. You can can be a, an actual like administrative assistant or front desk or PCR, those different things. So there are areas where you can get healthcare experience, which is just you having experience in the healthcare field. But if you're talking specifically about patient care experience, um, that will that's more of your um, techs, so your surgical tech, MAs that get trained in that, your phlebotomists, your CNAs that get trained and are able to, or GNAs that are able to actually like pass pills and do things of that nature. Those are really your kind of go-to entry level, really quick, um, kind of get a certification, get it out of the way that will help you get um, access and, and actually experience for PA school programs. But those are it. That's it. I'm done, you guys. Um, hopefully this was very helpful. If you do have any other questions, go ahead again and leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for joining me on this journey. I will talk to you guys next time.